hello guys welcome to today's video by trust stanley and this is another ts tech talks video on today's video guys i'm going to show you how to create a facebook fan group on your facebook page actually you're going to be making use of your facebook page to create a facebook fan group um actually this is a bit different from a facebook group so i'm going to be showing you guys how to create and also how to link an existing page to your facebook fan group now let's dive into that and then i already made this video previously for the mobile version but i'm remaking this video for the desktop version just for the people that make use of desktop they don't um actually use mobile version <clears throat> let's dive into that now the page is loading um it actually depends on how fast your internet is all right so go ahead and click on the pages to open the pages that you want to work on that you want to use to create the group now click on any page that you want to make use of i'm making use of the ts tech talk wait for it to load it might take a while depending on how fast your internet is again now um if it finished loading you are going to notice this area where you has group right i think is the one two three fourth option on the menu section go ahead and click on that and most time you can find the groups around there but right now this is where you can find the group so once you click on it it will look i think um the group option icon is also right there i think there is a link to the group right there so once you have it open scroll right down a little bit you notice where it says create a linked group right go ahead and click on create a linked group now it's going to ask you to give the name to the group and it's going to ask you to give um the privacy and then you are going to have to invite fans to it if you want it's actually optional now um i'm going to give this a very simple name so i'm going to call it like um So I call this question group because it's going to be linked to my page also. So they should understand that is a, a question group. So it's still going to be question group TS Tech Talk. And then for the privacy, I'm going to make this public because I want people to easily join, comment, and also see what is going on and the activities that is going on in the group. Now um, you can invite anybody that is already on your is already following you and you can just skip if you do not want to. These are not actually my real friends. These are people that are following me on this is my page so i'm going to have to invite this person and then i'm going to invite this person also so um once you're done inviting the people just go ahead and click on create right there now you notice this is the way it displays right i'm going to click create i didn't click the button the last time um this is how it displays this is actually the thumbnail I have not added any cover for the page so i'm going to have to add the cover to the page and also edit some other few things later on but right now this is the group called um the ts tech talk question group now um i can easily change this ui and also go ahead and make posts right there and you can notice i have only invited some people i haven't added a cover i don't have a description and i have not made any post once i've done all of those things this is going to display and if you notice right there there is um a, a way it actually displays right here um differently from it displayed on the mobile so on the desktop version it actually has to show you a lot of more features that you have to um edit and then do some other couple of change and you can notice on this left hand side also it also have a lot of interesting features also but the main thing i want to show you guys is actually that i am the admin of the group now if i click on the member section um if i click on the member section right there this is not active if not i would have clicked because i'm the only member so it's only showing one member and if you notice i'm actually the only admin right there you can notice 
it displays um i'm interacting with ts tech talk and i can also switch as trustanly if i switch as trustanly that means i have to be interacting with the uh, trustanly but because i'm the page admin he right here i don't think there is any need for me changing it back to trustanly so i think i'm going to leave that to ts tech talk and if i click on the settings here i'll be able to make a lot of changes to the page like um adding a lot of features i'm going to show you guys those those stops later on i can add the name i can change the name and the description to the page change the visibility if i want to um, hide the group for some certain people add some tags to it and i can put a website um a website address that is if it needs a website address i don't think i want a website address i want to leave it as default so um, there is a lot of things we can do here, but I'm just going to show you guys those things later on. I just want to show you guys how to create and also link a, a Facebook to your page. Now, if I click on the home section, you are going to notice we'll be back to the home and this is actually the settings area. So um, I have to go back to the page where I started off, which is Trustanly, to show you guys that this is already linked to the group. Now click on the pages and then wait for it to load. And then I'm going to click on the TS Tech Talk, which is actually my main group, uh, my main page name. And it's loading, wait for it. So um, it has loaded up. And if I click on the group section once more, you should be able to see all the linked group that I've already linked with the, um, with the page. Now wait for it. Okay, let me scroll down a little. There you go. This is the question group I just created right now. You can notice it has been linked and I already have one member. Now I can click on invite to invite more people. Now you notice I have even more groups, which is actually the TS Tech Talk G is actually the first one I created. Then all of these ones are actually my friends group, not exactly my group. So to link an existing group to um, your existing page, all you need to do is to click on the link group icon to link the group. Now, if you choose this option, it's going to display every group that you already created. Now, I already have this group created on, I already have this group created on my main profile account, which is Trust Stanley. So because I already have this created, I can easily link it. But even though I, 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 I can view it right there, I can link this particular group to like three different um, Facebook pages. I can link this group to three different Facebook pages. I already have this link to one particular page, which is Trust um, TS Tech Talk 2. And I also have this link in to this one. So if you want to link, just click on link. And you can notice it says, do you want to link TS Tech group to the TS Tech page? Now you notice it has page icon, right? Now go ahead and confirm that you want to link it by selecting the link option. Now you can notice it has already been linked right there. So that is all how to create and link a group. Now to prove to you guys that this particular page, this first one right there, that is TS text is also linked to another page. Let me show you guys. I'm going to back out, click on the home section and wait for it to load. And now click on the pages right there on the left hand corner to select the exact page that I want to create. Now do not forget the first page I selected was the TS Tech Talk, which is this one that has this logo. Now I'm going to click on this one to show you guys the page that is already linked there. You're going to be surprised. I was able to link two groups to one particular page, which is awesome for Facebook. I love that feature. So if I click on the group, I just want to show you guys I've already linked it. Now you notice this is the same group. This is the same group I linked with um, the previous one. And if I click on it, you'll be able to see that it actually has two different admin, which is me, um, Trust Stanley, and also uh, the other TS Tech Talk page. If I click right there, you notice this is the three admin of the group. The first one is the uh, my personal profile. This one is a page and this is also a page so i can easily interact with any of them i can go ahead and switch to trust stanley i mean the, the ts tech 2 and then i can interact with the ts tech 2 let me show you guys you can notice the logo actually changes so then i posted this with ts tech 2 wait for it it should display once it has posted now i'm going to switch to the other ts tech Okay, it has posted right now. So I'm going to switch to the first TS tech, which is this, this one right there. 
and then it has switched right now you notice this person commented and i can like and then comment with ts tech one which is the ts tech without um, a, a number on it there you go you see that so i can easily react with any of the um with any of the accounts that i'm admin with so any of the page and any of the accounts that i'm admin with on this page i can easily interact with them which is actually the fun part of linking your page to your fan group so easily your fan can easily comment and with multiple page accounts you can easily react or comment or respond to any of their any of their messages coming into the group so this is actually a very important feature i hope this video was helpful if you liked it please smash the like button and subscribe for more if not i'm going to see you on my next video please do share this video with your friends and stay safe